Hi Mandra Armstrong, welcome to the back office teardown lab. We're going to have a look inside one of these Bluetooth to um, Apple dock accessory dock adapters, you know, the 30 pin docks that exist in your house potentially, but have nothing to plug into them because Apple dropped it years ago. So I want to try to get into this without really ruining it because it does work and it's quite good. There we go. There's always a loose edge to be found. And that's it. <laughs> nice. Now, if this, this is possibly one that I actually had to repair. Came, uh, one channel was dead on arrival. So I offered to send it back, but they sent me a replacement. So I had to go at fixing it because I had nothing to lose and I did fix it. So that's great. I'm very pleased with that. So what you can see here, you can see I've missed, there's some missing tracks here. That was part of my repair damage this because there was some floating tracks. But this is a 30 pin Apple style connector. You might recognize them from your old iPods and iPhones. Nothing too interesting on the back apart from a huge ground plane here. So you can see everything on this circuit is really above this line here because here you've got a ground and here you've got power. So these are the, this is the power on the ground to the dock. So that's powering this circuit. And then these two lines here, that's just your left hand side audio and your right hand side audio as received by this. And this is a Bluetooth chip. And as you can see right here, this is the Bluetooth antenna. Very interesting spacing. Here is the LED you see on the top because there's actually a window, a small transparent window on the case that flashes. And as you can imagine, that's a blue LED by rights. It has to be. So this is a single system on chip. Let's see if we can read what it actually is. It looks like a 5851SA by RDA. So you could probably pull up a data sheet on that. I'm trying this. I'll just have to hold this to my eye, see what that is. We won't be able to see that on camera. That's a microscope job. But that could be, I don't know really what that could be. It could be just a crystal, I guess. It's probably just a timing crystal. Who knows? And then just a few little uh, components. I mean, these are, these are here to sort of tune this antenna and these are, oh, I suppose these are probably capacitors, uh, capacitors to decouple the actual audio to the unit. And the rest are just the uh, various resistors and passives that these um, standard chips, system on chip type chips need. So when you plug this in, this uh, tells you that Bluetooth's ready. So it has some CPU in there and a little bit of flash because it can actually produce sound. It tells you that it's connected on Bluetooth using audio through the dock itself. No microphone. As far as I can see, so this probably this only supports the sound out the headphone. So there, there you go. You really don't have to open these up now. If you if you ever have an issue though, chances are like this one, it wasn't actually soldered very well here, so I just reflowed it and it worked fine. So I hope that's been some use to you as ever. Thanks for watching.